my goodness, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Hello, my besties. If we are just meeting, welcome. My name is Kathy, and it's my DIY channel. We do a lot of great projects on the budget here, so please consider subscribing and automatically becoming my bestie. <laughs> In spite of the somber reality that we are all facing right now with the COVID-19 pandemic, we still want to celebrate special moments in our lives, like birthdays or graduations, or uh, maybe just say thank you to our healthcare workers or offer a message of hope. So in today's video, I want to show you how to make a, a beautiful wreath uh, for any of these occasions and uh, have some fun. Let's get started. You're gonna need a hula hoop from a Dollar Tree. Uh, I picked up the smaller one, they have two sizes. Depending on your color scheme, you might wanna spray paint your hula hoop. I'm making a wreath for my son's graduation, so I spray painted mine black. I will be using golden balloons and a sign. If you cannot find the sign that you want, I recommend using a chalkboard sign and you can write whatever you like. I just got this sign at my Dollar Tree. I actually called them and found out that they had toilet paper and paper towels and we were running low. So I was very excited to kill two birds with one stone. So we start off by blowing up about 20 balloons. And I don't know about you, but for me, I'm getting lightheaded. So I called for help. Luckily, my husband has air compressor that my daughter learned to use it real quick. And she was such a great trooper. She helped me blow them all up. That was amazing help. We want the balloons to be small and round. So you press them against yourself a couple times uh, to achieve that round shape. So you want a variety of sizes, but relatively small. First, we are going to hang the sign inside the hula hoop. We remove the jute string and we're gonna replace it with the fishing line or some other thin string. So hopefully you know a fisherman that could share some line with you. My dad gave me this roll such a long time ago and I still have it. It lasts very long time. So I'm tying a knot at each end and I'm also gonna reinforce it with some scotch tape so it stays in place. Next, I'm going to tie the balloons in pairs. It's easier to attach them to the hoop when there's two. I will also leave some single ones for later to fill in the holes. Watch how easy it is to attach the pair of balloons to the hoop. Just one twist like this and they stay on. Easy, right? <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little bit harder around bigger balloons and uh, spaces in between form, but it's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fill these in. You see that space there? I'm just gonna squeeze in one more pair in there. <laughs> Let's add one more pair on this side. I only want to do a half a circle, so I just have to fill in a little bit more here on the right. Let me hang this reef for you so you could see it better. And here we can see exactly where we have the holes, empty spots, the black hoop is showing. We have to cover that up. We're gonna be using single balloons. So uh, one way of attaching them is using glue dots. You measure where your balloon is gonna be touching the other balloons and you simply apply a glue dot on that side 
and on the other side wallet will be touching the other balloon. And now we can just squeeze it in there and make sure it stays there nicely. With a small balloon like this one, we might need just one dot. Here's another trick. If you don't have glue dots, you could try your hot glue gun. Just test it on the side. Uh, this is not any fancy hot glue gun that I have. Mine is just regular cheap glue gun. Uh, I know there's some fancy ones where you can change the temperature. So of course you use the low heat setting, but I have to tell you the truth. This one works. My glue is pretty hot and it's not damaging my balloons at all. So it's definitely worth a shot and it's so much easier than glue dots, I think. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm just going around here having fun, <laughs> sticking in those balloons. And so that's my advice for you. And my best is just have fun with it, okay? You can't go wrong. And I think I'm just gonna twist in one more pair at the end here for a more balanced look. I know it's not gonna be perfect. It's not supposed to be. It's all different shapes and sizes. That's the beauty of it, I think. Just take a look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Well, we're not done. I know my besties are looking for cherries on the top or the glittery stars, perhaps. <laughs> we're gonna use the foam scatter to bring some interest in between the balloons. I'm just gonna use a couple dots of hot glue to attach them in between the balloons. Oh, I have a perfect spot even for the broken store. <laughs> Here's the look at the finished result. Doesn't that look so expensive? Well, I spent only about $4. <laughs> Let me just attach a hanger here out of the fishing line. And you can use a command hook to hang it anywhere. I attach it to my ceiling, but you can uh, bring it in front of your house, put it in your grad's room. Uh, when you have a party, you can uh, hang it be behind the head table. It's just a big, beautiful piece, isn't it? And here's my handsome eighth grader. I feel awful that he's missing out on his graduation, so at least I'm gonna decorate like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna make one more. My godson Jake is turning double digits. Let's make a birthday wreath. We're gonna use colorful balloons from Dollar Tree. Don't have a sign, so I'm gonna print a large number of my computer and cut it out out of the glitter foam that I got at a Dollar Tree. First, I cut out the number and then trace around it on the back of the foam. And then just cut it out. Next, you're gonna pierce two holes at the top and bottom of each number and use the fishing line to hang it in your hula hoop. Also, please notice I'm not painting my hula hoop this time. I like it colorful for the birthday. So I'm gonna tie these numbers to the hula hoop and reinforce it with the scotch tape. My helper is blowing up the balloons for me and I'm tying them in pairs. She made some of them really big and I have to admit they're harder to work with. So you already know how to put these on, except this time we're gonna do all of them on the left side. I continue adding the balloons. Now 
And here you can see the larger they get, the harder they are to manage. But uh, this is for the birthday, so I think everything goes. And to finish this end, let's add a couple small ones. And just like before, wherever we see a hula hoop, we're going to cover that up with single balloons. You see the size of this thing? It came out huge. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for the drive-by. <laughs> I hang it on the porch and I call my godson to come out. What do you think? Isn't that a great statement piece? Welcome to double digits, Jakey! Lastly, I want to make a thank you reef for our frontline heroes. I printed the text on my computer and I'm gonna transfer it on this Dollar Tree chalkboard sign. I'm gonna use a piece of chalk and the ornament marker from the Dollar Tree. It works actually better than the chalk writer. To make this reef, I'm gonna use the garden trellis. You had seen me use it before. Uh, of course, you can use any reef form. In addition, we're gonna be using the dripping blossoms from the Dollar Tree in all colors of the rainbow. As you know, the rainbow has become the symbol of hope during this pandemic time. Unfortunately, I don't have the rainbow ribbon in my stash, but my daughter insisted that we use her scarf. In addition, we're gonna use a little heart sticker and a couple zip ties. To transfer the text to the chalkboard, I cover the back of the printout with the chalk. Next, I tape the printout to the chalkboard so it doesn't move, and I trace around the letters. When done, I lift up the paper and ta-da! Everything's transferred nicely, I can see my letters, and now I can go over them with my marker. Like I already mentioned, this is the ornament marker from a Dollar Tree. I like it better than the chalk writer because it's a finer point. And another plus is that it stays on, it doesn't smudge. You probably noticed that I don't have an O here, and that's because I want to use the little heart sticker. And I called my helper here with her rainbow markers, and she's going to paint it for me. <laughs> How cute is that? Here is the rainbow heart painted with love. And here is going to be the easiest flower swag ever. All you have to do is spread out your flowers and stack them up on top of each other. Just make sure you spread out those branches so they don't cover each other. Just like so. And now we're gonna take a zip tie and tie the flower stems to the trellis. I have a very tiny one here, but it still does the job. And now I'm gonna find one more point to connect them again somewhere at the top. Hi, nosy girl. Cut off the ends of the zip ties, even though it's not much to cut off here, <laughs> and fluff up your flowers. And now we're gonna take a floral wire and attach our chalkboard to the trellis. And the holes are pretty drilled over there where the jute string used to be. Next step is optional. You can make a bow with a scarf 
or with the ribbon. This is a very simple bow. I'm just folding it over and I'm going to tie it in the middle with a floral wire. Next, I'm going to use the wire from the back of the bow to tie it down to the trellis. Next, I fluff it up, but as you know, the scarf won't stay on just like that. So we have a trick for that. I have some leftover deco mesh, so I'm going to cut a piece and insert inside the bow to lift it up a little bit, just like so. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. better, right? <laughs> now I'm just going to use a little bit of floral wire to attach it on both sides of the trellis, just so it stays in place. I need a cherry on the top, so I reach out for one more Dollar Tree bouquet. I get that big purple flower right here in the center of my bow. And of course, it wouldn't be finished without a little butterfly. Let's add that guy right there above the sign under the flowers. Let me just fluff up all the green leaves at the bottom of each stem and we are done. Somewhere over the rainbow, there are happier days ahead. And with these colorful flowers, we want to say thank you to all our frontline heroes. Wait a minute, who's scratching the door? Oh, of course, so innocent now. For those visiting first time, meet my puppy Coco. And I hope everyone likes the rainbow flower swag with the special message, special, special message. Oh my gosh. And the special message that comes with it. <laughs> so you can hang it either on your front door or place it as a stake inside the planter, put it by the front entry and display it that way. Isn't that pretty? And if you worry about getting it wet, you can use this never wet spray. I was lucky actually to find it at a Dollar Tree in the auto section. It costs so much more somewhere else, but it's a great investment. You can spray your wreaths, flowers, and don't have to worry about them getting wet. All right, my besties, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you're gonna create some of the fun quarantine reefs that I showed you today. And if you do, please make sure you share with me. I love seeing your pictures. Take care, stay well, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.